Hi Libra, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Libra, this is going to be your own reading today. Yes, it is. So I hope you guys are all doing well. And let's get into the reading right now and, uh, and see what we can kind of glean here. Yeah, and check your moon and your rising videos, Libra. Uh, those are kind of really indicative of what's going on in your life. All right, so let's see what we have for Libra. I'm going to put a few oracle cards down as well. Let's see what we have. Just listening to the Gypsy Kings. Yeah, those are uh, they're from Spain, right? The Gypsy Kings, uh, like Spanish singers, but of course we know the Gypsies have they're they're of mixed blood, right? Uh, some they say are from India, right? Uh, in Romania, uh, they definitely look like they have some Indian blood in them. Yeah, they do. Really kind of interesting. So we have for Libra. Okay, Libra, you're like you look like you're stepping into something new. You have the Fool as your first card, and let's see, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and. Uh, What's on your mind is love, it looks like. It looks like a new beginning in love you want or something maybe that didn't work for you, right? That you maybe thought was going to be a new beginning. Uh, with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, it's just going to depend here. We're going to see what that's about uh, as we go. There could be Aries energy in this reading too. Uh, we have the Fool and we also have... Uh, the High Priestess, which is Pisces or Scorpio. The other day I was doing a reading. I forgot to mention Scorpio. So let's see what we have for Libra. Let's see. And you have the Coward Libra. Okay, so you could be dealing with somebody who has fear. And the Advisor. Somebody looks like they're looking for... Uh, and the Treasury. Okay, we'll take that card. But somebody, you look like you are looking for advice. Maybe somebody in your life. Maybe about somebody. And the coward, somebody has fear over something. It doesn't always mean you're like, you know, you're a coward the rest of your life. And uh, I want to banish power and, light king, power and light from my kingdom because they call me a coward. <laughs> it doesn't really mean all that, right? But somebody uh, has fear, you know. And somebody could be. I mean, uh, we deal with cowards in our life, though. We do. Yeah, we do. Let's see what we have sometimes. And we have the message. Okay, there's communication coming. And let's see. They're showing the boat, kind of like a message in a bottle, and the High Priestess of Fire. So this is uh, uh, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, typically. Uh, let's see, it doesn't always have to be, though, and the moon. So there's mystery here, and the cat is here. Somebody's using their intuition uh, with the moon in this particular deck. This is most likely you. This is your reading. So let's see what we have for, for Libra. And Anais Nin and her the subconscious. This is somebody who is uh, really in their intuition. Yeah, let's see with that moon card with the black cat underneath the moon. And Virginia Wolf vision. Yeah, you look like you know you are trying to kind of foresee your future, like you know intuitively, right? Or you are trying to help yourself see what's about what's ahead, or what you should do to maybe improve your future right? Uh, somebody has fear here. This could be somebody you are dealing with, right? Maybe somebody even told you something, Libra, and uh, that could have, like, that person might be, like, fearful themselves, right? You can't go get uh, information or, uh, what's the word, advice from somebody who is really afraid. Like, my mom used to always say about her friend, she said she loved her friend a lot, but she said she was really negative, and you can never take advice or you know, not even really sought out advice. You can't even really kind of listen to some of the stuff they say. You're like, what? Yeah. Because their whole life is kind of based on fear. Mm -hmm. Not their whole life, but yeah, you know, they're kind of, this is how they, they function off of fear. That's what they want in this country. They want you to be, that's why they have one thing after another, right? They do. They have one problem after another they're throwing at you, right? environmental things and it just yeah it just, and then you know and half the stuff they throw at you is to create your fear it's not even real yeah and they have and they teach it in school that it is real and i mean they'll do anything to yeah 
Well, let's get back to this, Libra. Let's see what we have for you. The treasury is here, Libra. The treasury talks about where you need to put your money. It could you could have a vast vast resources, right? Maybe uh, the Queen of Pentacles is right here in the center of your reading is money. This is the center, right? Uh, because we have like typically this is a tens card spread, and right here the third and the seventh and the eighth card. So is the center, and we have an earth sign, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So money could be really important to you at this time. Uh, it really could. So let's see what else we have for you, Libra. And you're in the full energy right now. The Two of Pentacles reversed. And this could be about having courage. It's possible it's about not having courage with the coward, right? And we have the Page of Wands and uh, the High Priestess. So there's a new, there's some type of new path here that you want. This is clear, or I'm not sure if you have taken it. You have the two. I feel like you already made up your mind here about it. It looks like, and uh, this is change. It has to do with forward movement and progress developments. It could be fast change with the eight of wands. There's an earth sign here. You I feel like you could be leaving somebody out right here. You could five of pentacles right now. Yeah, this is about money too, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in the, in like in the root and in your environment. Right here is the Treasury card as well. So this is about money, and uh, you know you could be. It's a possibility here. This could also be saying that uh, you are just kind of taking a leap of faith here uh, to create change and bring more money to your life. It could be. It could be that. Because you could be feeling like you're in lack. You might not be leaving somebody out. Sometimes this is a lack of money. The Five of Pentacles. So let's continue. And in the past you had the Ten of Cups. And the Seven of Cups. I feel like you were trying to make a really hard choice in the past. With the Advisor card here. Right? And the Two of Pentacles showing up. Five of Cups. You were trying to make a really hard choice here about whether or not you were going to end something, possibly. Or something that was grieving you. You could have had options, but I feel like you were trying to make a hard choice here. And you could have been confused here. It's possible that you are confused about somebody here. And maybe about if they are leaving you out. But we know that this has to do with money as well. With the Treasury and the, all these Pentacles in the root here and in your environment. What's on your mind, Libra, is the Ace of Cups reversed and the Four of Pentacles. You see what I mean about these Pentacles? This is what's on your mind. Now, this could be about you holding on to somebody or some type of a new beginning where it is like, where there is more abundance, possibly. Let's see what we have for Libra. And we have Openness. Okay, this could be uh, being open to a new future here. I feel like that's what this is about. Yeah, it is. Because uh, there's something you're trying to leave here, either a lack or you're dealing with somebody here who is like bringing you down possibly. Yeah, and the potential card. Yeah, there is potential here. I feel like this is telling you you need to be open in order to uh, reach your potential in a particular situation. And the solitude card, yeah. You have the solitude card, Libra, because you're in your you're in your head here, right? The seven is here, which is analyzing. Sevens are always about that, and here you are, the two of pentacles, right? And the eight of swords, you feel stuck. You know, these are about thoughts uh, and feelings of like, uh, how do I get out of this? I I don't know another way out. So let's get another card here for you on your uh, on what's on your mind. Why is the four of pentacles there? It is showing up with the King of Cups. So you could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, you know, you could be, you could maybe you're trying to hold on to somebody here who is a water sign. It could also be here that uh, what's on your mind is holding on to somebody, but you don't think you're going to have a new beginning with them because the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. So there's like uncertainty here in this reading. There are definitely uncertainty, right, about a particular situation. This is why you are, you know, trying to be in your vision here. And, you know, you have this card about the subconscious because you are all in your intuition here. 
and let's see what else we have in the near future and the six of cups is reversed here this is typically going back to somebody from your past So let's see, and the Gemini card is the lovers. You look like you're making a choice to take action and return to somebody from your past. And over here, you could have made up your mind. I feel like you made up your mind here, looking at this reading. So maybe it's to, it doesn't always have to be a person, Libra. Not everybody's dealing with a love situation, right? Some people are like, this Ace of Cups, it, sometimes it can be self-love, right? It can uh, uh, typically or sometimes it can be like you want a new beginning with something that you really love, like a whole new a whole new thing that makes you really happy here. Let's see what you have uh, in the recent past. Let's see what else we have. Just justice. This is you most likely here. I feel like in the past you were grieving here, but you were trying to make a really hard choice here uh, about whether or not you wanted like to end something or like how to how to create your happily ever after. Yeah, and you're asking somebody for advice here. You want change. This is really clear with this Eight of Wands. And let's see what we have in the near future. You have wow, the Sun card and the Ace of Swords. You, you have a, you're making a decision in the near future. It's clear here. I feel like you are illuminating yourself. Like, uh, like the sun is out here, but it is helping you like see things clearly. And that's what the vision and the subconscious card is about. This is you trying to like figure out your future. Yeah, by way of uh, your intuition. You also have the message card. So somebody's sending you a message here. And it, maybe it's a message, like, intuitive message. Maybe it is, like, a subconscious uh, message. Because it's right next to the high priestess of fire and the moon. And you have the nine of wands and the page of pentacles here, Libra. And this is... Uh, mm -hmm. This is in your concern. Let's have a look at the High Priestess of Fire. Let's see what she's all about here. Yeah, because, uh, let's see, this is a different deck, and people have different, I've uh, never really seen the High Priestess of Fire, but, you know, this lady is. And we have, my child, you have chosen the symbol of the vampire. <laughs> High Priestess of Fire, the goddess of creativity and passion. Okay. Yeah, you are definitely trying to create something here. Yeah, definitely. And whenever she arrives, she reminds you of your ability to create your own reality and to choose how you channel your energy. Yeah, this is about your creativity and your passion. If you are restless, call upon the High Priestess of Fire for inspiration and joy, and she will release you from the trap of boredom. Spend your energy, cre spend your energy creatively, not impulsively, and guard yourself against burning out. Use your fire wisely. Okay. So, I mean, this could be about uh, Aries Lear or Sag, possibly. But this, I feel like this is your energy. And this is what you're trying to do, Libra. You're trying to create something here. Maybe you're dealing with the fire sign, too. So let's continue here. And let's get another card on... Uh, let's get a card on your concern. And uh, you're worried about what's going to happen in the, in the future. Maybe this is why you are... And this advisor, maybe you're uh, contacting somebody about money, like a financial advisor or, you know, maybe you're buying Bitcoin, uh, whatever you're doing here, okay? It looks like you're doing something. Maybe you're getting a mutual fund or just, I'm not really sure, right? Of course. Maybe you are fear afraid to do that. Uh, but there's a money thing going on here for sure. And then we have... Uh, the death card. This is your concern. I feel like you don't know if you're going to have a new beginning with somebody or an ending with them. Or if something like, or if this is business, if you're going to, you know, if it's going to like just kind of end up, something like that. I also feel like you really want to transform something here. This death card is definitely about transformation. The seven of swords. Mm, I feel like you're concerned about somebody here. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you are in your concern. You look like you are concerned if you're going to have, uh, like, a new start with somebody. Maybe if you can start again with somebody. The Six of Cups person, most likely. Somebody from the past. Because in the near future, I feel like you're gaining clarity about this person. Yeah, but right now, uh, in your concern, you could be thinking they are sneaky here. This is you, most likely, the King of Swords, Libra, showing up here. But you could be making a decision. I feel like you are just analyzing here. You are analyzing. Yeah, you're analyzing. You could be planning something here as well. But I, for me, you look like you are concerned about somebody from the past here. And they have something to do with your money. For sure they do. The Ten of Pentacles is showing up with the Queen of Wands. And uh, this is Aries who are sad. We saw that High Priestess of Fire, right? The core cards to me are people in most of my readings. So, so far we have the Queen of Pentacles. Sometimes this can be about your money, right? The Treasury card showing up. This could just be about your money. But typically in a reading, this would be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And down here would be Aries, Leo, or Sag. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the Chariot card reversed. This is in your environment. Somebody's blocking you here. Uh, I feel like they are. They're blocking you or, you know, or maybe you feel like this is, this could be victory uh, that's going to happen. But it, I feel like just somebody's kind of in your way here on some level. Maybe it's this coward person. King of Wands. See what I mean? There's Aries that are sad. Now we have the King and the Queen. This could be a power couple sometimes. Could be a power couple with two entrepreneurs, two people who say, "Hey, let's do this. Uh, we're going to think it through real, uh, not real quick. We're going to think it through, uh, you know, strategically, and we're going to do this uh, because this could be about a business, but this is about love as well. Um, but I feel like it's more business. There's not that many cups in this reading. No, there's not. Omg, there's hardly any cups in this reading. Somebody from the past, six of cups, or something from the past." But it doesn't look like, um, it doesn't look here that uh, this is about love. The Seven of Cups is, you know, it's just, it's more of a choice card. Or somebody has options. Or a confusion card. But the, the cups that are here are not like, they're not really major love. The only one here is the Ace of Cups. That's what's on your mind. With the King of Cups. So this is, uh, I feel like maybe you want to hold on to somebody here. Um, you know, let's see what we have. Let's see what else is on your mind. The Five of Swords. So, you know, I feel like you feel like somebody, uh, you, you know, you want to hold on to somebody here, but you feel like you can't really trust them. Maybe this is this person from the past. And we, this is despair. This could be manipulation. Somebody's manipulating in this reading. Yeah, with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. We have a lot of Fives. Wow, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Swords. These are typically endings, right? I also feel like you are uh, some type of, like, minor crisis for you here. Yeah, and uh, you want, you want like, like you want something new. Yeah, you want to, like, leave somebody or leave an energy. And your money is important to you as well. And you're super overwhelmed or challenged. Now we have the five of wands in your environment. This is These are major changes, endings, crises, turning points, and chaos. That's what they are. And wow, you do. Yeah, you are, you're stressed in this reading, definitely, Ari, uh, Libra. Sorry about that. And what you want here, here's more analyzing seven of pentacles. You could be looking at your money once again. For me, there's more pentacles and cups in this reading. This is more about money or stability. You have a pentacles here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pentacles. You have eight pentacle cards. Like, in other words, they're almost all here, right? There's only ten. I included the queen, so, you know, there's a lot. So, uh, for me, you are more concerned about your future and your money. Yeah, you are. So, let's see what we have. Uh, and this could be about a partner maybe you're dealing with. For some of you guys, a nine of a partner in business, the nine of swords. So, you're worried here what's going to happen. You go to the, from the eight to the nine. Where I feel really stuck, and now I'm really worried. 
and uh, about what's going to happen. It could be financially with the Seven of Pentacles there and uh, the Two of Swords. Yeah, you don't know what's going to happen with somebody because you have the Nine of Wands and the, the Seven of Pentacles. They're both like, I wonder what's going to happen. We're going to end the reading there, Libra. We're going to go to the extended, yeah. And if this is about somebody, uh, somebody else, there is somebody else involved here. The reading will be all about them, right? The reading will be uh, what the issues are between you guys, how they feel about you, what they want, what they fear, their challenges, and their outcome. Thanks so much for joining me, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I really want to see this extended. Yeah, I want to see what's going on. This is these readings are uh, your readings are always interesting. Yeah, they're all super affordable. Thank you so much, guys.